there, children. Are you ready for another fun-filled learning session? Teacher Joe is here once again telling you that there is power in reading, there is strength in learning. You're on Deppet TV, your key to being smart. Today, we will be learning more about identifying the meanings of unfamiliar words through structural analysis by focusing on words that have affixes. Who among you can still recall what a prefix is? A prefix is composed of a letter or letters added before a root word to change its meaning. The words are impossible, imperfect, disable, misbehave, dishonest are examples of words that have prefixes. Can you give your own examples too? Aside from a prefix, there is another affix that we are going to learn today, and that is the suffix. Let us explore some suffixes right now. The word care, which means to show concern, when joined by the suffix full, will now mean full of care. Careful! Do you want to learn more suffixes? Okay, okay! Here are more suffixes for you to learn. The word care, when combined with the suffix less, will become careless, which will now mean the opposite of careful or without care. Hey, do I still hear more? Okay then, here is another example of a suffix. Another word that will change its meaning when the suffix er is added to it is the word sing. It will now become singer or someone who sings. Can you give more words that have the suffixes fool, less, and er? Can you identify if the underlined affix is a prefix or suffix? Number one, the word that has an affix is painful. Does it have a prefix or suffix? If your answer is a suffix, you got it. Number two, the word is impolite. Is M a prefix or suffix? If your answer is a prefix, fantastic! The word for number three is painless. Is less a prefix or suffix? Do I hear a suffix? Marvelous! Pretty easy, isn't it? Now, we will go to another activity to see how much you have learned. Word Root word, suffix, meaning, tasteless, player, successful, biker, sleepless. The first word is tasteless. Can you tell me what the root word is? If your answer is taste, then you have to write it down in the table. What is this suffix? I think I heard the word less. Great going, children! Now, what do you think is its meaning? If your answer is without taste, then you are correct. And word is player. What is its root word? If play is what you have in mind, then you got it. What do you think is its suffix? If your answer is er, you're getting better every time. Now, what is its meaning? The meaning of player is someone who plays. Let's now go to the third word, successful. Do I hear that success is its root word? Yes, marvelous. Its suffix is super. It really is full. The new meaning of the word formed is full of success. Our second to the last word is 
biker. What do you think is its root word? Fantastic! The root word is bike. Can you guess what the suffix is? If your answer is er, excellent! Biker now means someone who rides a bike. And now, for the last number, the word is sleepless. What is its root word? Fantastic! It's sleep. What do you think is its suffix? If your answer is less, you got it again. So, what do you think is its meaning? Sleepless now means without sleep. Did you get all the correct answers? If you did, you were showing perfection. But if you weren't able to get all the answers correctly, don't feel blue. Teacher Joe is here for you to guide you if there's anything you need to understand more. And now, let's go on to another great activity. I'd like to show you our magical knowledge box. Do you know what's inside it? Let's see. Oh, it has all these words. Root word. Prefix. Change. Not or opposite of. Full of. Affixes. Suffix. Wrongly or badly. Without. You are going to complete each sentence with the correct information by choosing your answers from the words that flew out of the knowledge box. Number 1. A blank is a word to which affixes are added. What do you think is the right word from the knowledge box? Oh, right! It's root word. Number two, blank are added to a root word. What shall we choose? This one? Right! Affixes! For number three, the sentence is A blank is an affix added before a root word. Can you help me find it? Oh, it's there! It's prefix! Next is our number four sentence. A blank is an affix added after a root word. Hmm. If a prefix is added before a root word, then the affix added after a root word must be a suffix. Thank you for helping. Here is sentence number five. Affixes blank the meaning of a root word. I know what the answer is. Do you know what is the answer? It's change. Affixes change the meaning of the root word. The number six sentence is the prefix miss means blank. Do you see the answer for sentence number six? Oh, there it is. The prefix miss means wrongly or badly. Number seven, the sentence is the prefix m means blank. I can see the answer from the knowledge box. Do you? It's not. The prefix m means not. Next is sentence number 8. The prefix this means blank. Hmm. If the prefix m means not or opposite of, the prefix this must be. 
Yes, they have the same meaning. The prefixes miss and dis mean not or opposite of. Number nine is our second to the last sentence. And it says, the suffix full means blank. Suffix full means full of. Yes, that is what it is. And finally, the number 10 sentence. The suffix less means blank. Oh, I know the answer. Do you know what the answer is too? Yes, the meaning of the suffix less is without. Were you able to check how many correct items you got? If you got a perfect score, it means that prefixes and suffixes are a breeze for you. And doing another activity will be easy for you. It's really nice when you get to learn the lesson right away. It means that you are really paying attention. But don't you worry. If you didn't get all the correct answers, you just have to review your lessons and pay a little more attention. Let's say goodbye to our magical knowledge box now. And let's say thank you to him for helping us out in our lesson. Thank you! Oh, I was just playing detective. Do you want to play with me? The game is called Word Detective. You are going to help me look for the words in the search puzzle using the given meanings found in the map. Are you ready to start? Oh, before I forget, this is the clue that you have to keep in mind. All words are formed by adding prefixes and suffixes. Children, this is the search puzzle that we will use in finding the words we are looking for. Let's start. For number one, the meaning of the word that we are looking for is to not give courage. Can you identify the word that we are looking for? It's discourage. Now, let's look it up in the search puzzle. There it is. Let's now go to number two. The meaning of the word that we are looking for is the one that feeds. Can you guess the word? It's feeder. Let's find it in the search puzzle. It's there. For number three, the meaning of the word is not connected. The word that we are looking for is correct. It's disconnect. Come, let's find it in our words puzzle. Oh, I can see it. It's just there. Now, we're on to number four. The meaning of the word we are looking for is full of tears. I think you know the answer. Right, the answer is tearful. Do you see it in our search puzzle? It's there. We're halfway there, children. The meaning of the word that we are looking for is the one who drives. Can you guess the word that we are looking for? Yes, it is driver. And now, let's see if we can find it in our search puzzle. Can you see it? There it is. The meaning of the word that we are looking for is without heart. Do you know what the word is? It's heartless. Let's look it up in the search puzzle. I can see it. For number eight, the meaning is full of joy. What could the word be? Hmm, it's joyful. Is the word joyful in the search puzzle? Yes, it is. Yay! We found all the missing words in the search puzzle with the help of their meanings in the map. Congratulations!
and thanks for helping, children! We have come to the last part of our lesson, children, and I want to see how well you can answer our test. I know you will pass this test with flying colors. You just have to remember everything we learned about prefixes and suffixes. You have to give the meaning of the underlined words and write the answers on your answer sheets. Ready? Here is number one. Mang Ambo is a tricycle driver. driver what do you think is the meaning of driver number two Rico was tearful when he saw his mother after 10 years the meaning of tearful is blank number three after finishing college Jody is still jobless Jobless means blank. I hope you're done answering the test because in a little while, we will be checking your answers. Aren't you all excited to know your scores? Now, here are the answers. The answer for number one is one who drives. For number two, it's full of tears. Number three answer is without a job. See you in our next lesson. And it will be all about identifying different meanings of context-specific words using connotation and denotation. This is Teacher Jo, leaving you the quote from Victor Hugo of Les Miserables. To learn to read is to light a fire. So why don't you grab a book right now and read? Goodbye for now!